never think about whether you are agile. I've never realized being agile until February 2022, when the war started. Hello everyone, my name is Evgeny. I worked as a life coach for around two years. My goal as a coach is to help my clients reach their potential, as I believe that everything is in our hands and in our brain. In summary, my approach combines elements of an agile mindset, neuroscience techniques, business strategies within the ICF coaching framework. For the 24th of February, the start of the war, I planned a day off to try out karting. It should have been a present for my birthday, which was in several days. Morning explosions changed everything. My husband went to the key local defense the same day. I've got two kids. My daughter is 13 and my son is nine years old now. I worry about them a lot. So when my husband went to defend Kiev voluntarily, I sent my kids to the central part of Ukraine to their grandparents. I stayed in Kiev to support my husband. On my birthday, I was alone. I wasn't afraid and didn't feel lonely as I got an incredible support from my family and friends. Still, it was a daunting experience. In May, the situation in Ukraine seemed better compared to other regions of Ukraine, but it wasn't safe enough. We needed to make the decision, the hard decision concerning our future, to stay in Ukraine or to move to another place. Most of our friends had already moved abroad or to other parts of Ukraine. Our main goal was to choose the country. The UK opened its borders for Ukrainians in March. And by 29th of May, around 66,000 of Ukrainians had entered its territory. There were a lot of British families ready to host Ukrainians. My English is fluent. I've got a close friend in Wales. So in June, we fled to the UK. My main goal was to protect my kids from the war. But we wanted to visit some famous places as well. You know what? During 14 months in the UK, together with kids, I managed to visit 28 places. England, Wales, Scotland, except for Northern Ireland. London was one of our first destinations, and we worried a lot, as we've never been to such a huge city before. Luckily, the trip went smoothly. During our first visit to Liverpool, we were amazed by its vibrant atmosphere. I came there again, together with my friend, to enjoy the Eurovision Sound Complex. The funniest thing is that my kids didn't appreciate my efforts and the trip so much. I don't want to get up early and travel again, but we are traveling to Scotland. Oh, okay. For kids, Edinburgh Palace, Edinburgh Castle, and Scotland visit Highland Cows was the most memorable experience. Had at first, later on, the strips were a piece of cake for me, but I didn't take it seriously. When I just arrived in the UK, I thought that I would easily find a job something related to HR or training, as I already had some experience. I heard that it's really hard to find a job even for locals, but I was full of beans at the beginning. 
I was about to finish my ICF coaching course in July. I understood that I wouldn't be able to find a coaching position, but an intention seemed a realistic opportunity. There is a lot of difference between Ukrainian and British recruitment processes. The latter takes much longer. For example, from the day of interview till the start of work, it can take up to four months. It's really challenging to find managerial or well-paid positions without experience, and British experience is preferred. I wish I had understood this early. As a single parent abroad, I looked for a job that also allowed me to give enough time for kids, but it's not the easiest task even for locals. Despite all hardship, I did my best to learn and progress both personally and professionally. I tried different ways to find a job. And eventually, I thought that a new international course would put puzzle pieces together. Agile coaching is popular worldwide, including in the UK. So in February 2023, I enrolled in Agile Team Coaching course. This course trained participants to lead the teams to high performance, an Agile mindset, and finally, to their autonomy. Having worked with teams, with groups and individuals, and some Having experience working with groups and individuals, some coaching experience, I thought that I could be a good match. This course gave me new skills, international connections, my first coaching in English, but didn't help to find a job. I recall that before the course, I needed to fill in some precourse forms where I had to explain the meaning of HR and some other terms. I didn't fully fathom it, and I spent several hours searching in Wikipedia and other resources. Eventually, I got it. The term agile wasn't a mystery for me anymore. Living in the money world, you can't just wait for your lucky chance, and you should harness your actions and your mindset. Mental agility is one of the main skills of our century. Train something different. Getting away from obsolete and constantly moving towards your goals and new opportunities is something each of us should obtain. That's agility in brief. I don't know whether I was unlucky, made mistakes or both, but I didn't manage to find a job in the UK. My part-time British job and my online coaching sessions with Ukrainians don't count. Last summer, due to various reasons, we returned to Ukraine. I recall spending hours deciding what to do next. UK or Ukraine or another country. I analyzed possible options myself. I talked with my coach, my family and friends, my British sponsors, with other Ukrainian refugees living in the UK. Surprisingly, returning back to Ukraine provided a greater sense of certainty and more viable options at that particular moment.
Living in the UK has significantly shifted my perspective on the world. It enhanced my understanding of emotions and thought processes of people from different cultures. I realized how crucial connections are. It has improved my ability to handle various requ requests from personal matters to business-related ones like growing business or resolving team issues at work. Engaging with global audience has become a central part of my professional journey. I started conducting coaching sessions in English and I worked with clients from 15 countries. Building my brand is a major priority, not just within Ukraine on two platforms, but also internationally. On LinkedIn, I am steadily growing my audience through posts and newsletters in English, aiming to gain international recognition. When you can't change circumstances, when you can't change circumstances, change your attitude towards them. Failure isn't the end, but another valuable experience. Never stop trying. Be agile. Thanks.